So your girl is back at y'all with another video. Um, thank y'all for watching me. Make sure y'all not skipping none of my ads, honey. Okay, they keep the channel servicing. They keep the channel growing, baby. Don't skip none of my ads. You feel me? It's just a little commercial break. It's just a little commercial break, friend. Just watch them real quick for me. Thank you so much. I love y'all to them. Thank y'all to all the real followers, all the real fans, all the real supporters. I love y'all. So your girl, first of all, let me tell you. The girl in the comment earlier when I told y'all about my dream, she literally broke my dream down like to the T. Like how she even said, God guided you towards him. He really did though. Like anytime I'm ever talking about my dream, I'm talking to you, friend. Uh, listen, I'm talking to you personally right now. We're here. We're connected. So, uh, first of all, you know what? Just go to my Instagram. You see my Instagram right here? I'm going to make it big and bold. Go follow my Instagram. Go DM me right now and tell me that it's you. Because, bitch, I'm going to follow you personally. I don't even follow nobody, bitch. I'm going to follow you, ho. And I'm most definitely going to be DMing you, talking to you. Every time I have a dream, I'm not playing with you, girl. I'm not playing with you. You already know what's going on. Go ahead and get into the DM. Go ahead and get into the DM. If you ain't got the DM, comment down below and let me know you ain't got the DM. Comment down your um, uh, comment something, girl. Your email is something, girl. Comment something really quick for me because, you know, I don't know because, you know, these bitches, they're going to be like, oh, she a dreaming type of... And then she's going to be... That, too many people going to come in your DM, girl. It's going to make you mad, so... You know, this is between you and I. This is personal. This is real personal. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get, let me get one Bible verse real quick before we get the message started. One Bible verse. Okay. So we got Matthews eleven twenty nine, which is my birthday. Take your yoke up. Let me teach you because I am humble and graced at heart and you have found rest for your soul. So I feel like in this, um, in this, particular chapter in the Bible was with, was when God was teaching his disciple, was spreading his word. So he basically said, take your yoke up, take everything that, that's hurting you, every pain, every sorrow, everything that's stressing you out, take it up and give it up to Jesus. Okay. He said, let me teach you because I am humble and graced at heart. That's because he's a kind teacher. You feel me? He not, he not here to, to boast. He not here to make you feel less than yourself. He don't want to make you feel down. He don't want to make you feel none of that. Jesus is a soft teacher. He's a gentle teacher. He's a relaxed teacher. Okay. And he said, you will find rest in your soul. That real peace and happiness that you're looking for, money can't even buy what Jesus is going to give you in your heart. You feel me? So that right there will be in the description box below, you guys. I could, I most definitely encourage y'all to read that chapter today. Most definitely do. So let's get one card. Let's get the overall energy. Let's see what's going on, friend. Get more information here. Um, getting more information. Somebody could be researching you. Some I'm 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 in a heavy research, heavy on the web searching your name. Who is this girl? That's what somebody wanna know. Who is this girl? What's compromise here so i feel like somebody is is trying to compromise with you huge success huge success okay so this is going to be some form of success here i'm literally hearing somebody say who is this girl well let's search the name up and see okay that's what somebody trying to figure out who is this girl who is this guy who is this person they're literally Googling you right now. They're literally doing whatever it can. If they got if they got ways to Google your like if you got any criminal records, things like that, they going dead deep, bro. <laughs> they going dead deep if they can, if they can, okay? But um, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Somebody is in deep worried about their future. Somebody have abandonment issues too. Somebody feel like anytime they get into something, it don't work out. That's what I'm hearing too. Yeah, death card coming here. Maybe it was because of a death because somebody could have passed away. Um, Somebody had something with the hospital, blood, lupus. That's what I'm hearing, lupus. I'm hearing cancer. I'm hearing um something going on where somebody could have literally passed away here. And it left someone feeling abandoned. It left, or old age. It left somebody feeling really abandoned. Victory here. So it called, it, somebody sees this as a victory, but victory came in reverse. Somebody was delaying it. Somebody, I feel, I feel some energy with somebody also too was, like they could have got reckless okay when this death passed away when whoever passed away this person died okay like they literally died and they started doing any and everything it took reckless movement they didn't get no fucks here all they all they gave a fuck about was a victory was winning was getting to the goal here was accomplishing something in life 
because of whatever happened. They felt so abandoned here. That's exactly that's exactly how I'm feeling. Yeah, somebody that's money hungry. Somebody was only focused on the dollar. Somebody was overbearing when it came down to money. Um, basically only focusing on that, only focusing on the goal at hand. You feel me? Somebody, I'm feeling heartless. Somebody was very heartless. Somebody was very greedy. It could be an earth sign here, but I'm telling you, with whoever this person that passed away, when that person left, that man felt abandoned and he shed it off. He, sh yeah. The death card, he shed it off. Like that, that, that nice guy, that sweet, gentle guy that was in him, it literally died, okay? But we had a six of cups of here. So it got something to do with passion, with something something to do with feeling, something. Why am I hearing beauty and the beast? Why am I hearing beauty and the beast here? Yeah, okay, so some type of passion could really be making that cold guy calm down here making him see love again making him see life again i don't know i don't know what happened somebody somebody passed away though yeah a ruin i'm telling you ten of pentacles this hurt this man to his core bro he said life like like what the fuck can get worse than this here i lost i lost this person i lost this this motherfucker like that shit made him cold this somebody he been knowing for a long time i'm hearing a mother a, a father a grandmother, this is somebody really close to this man, okay, that he had a lot of love, but it's some type of six of cups, though, that's making that cold guy calm down, that's what I'm hearing, it's like, it's like literally taming a beast, like literally taming, taming a beast here, so let's see what's going on, what's going on with this, stuff? I told y'all, listen, look, Queen of Cups came out, Queen of Cups is a mother figure, somebody who loved this person, somebody who cared about this person, somebody who was genuine at heart, somebody who he seen as a therapist, he probably went and talked to this lady about everything, it changed him, it changed him, I'm telling you, something literally changed this person, he had something to do, four cups, he was over it, he was, I'm hearing he was over women, he ain't getting no fucks about women, he ain't getting no fucks how he treated people, shawty. He was over it. He was done. Like, people probably tried to get him real true love. And he was like, I guess I'll do it because I'm bored. He did a lot of stuff out of, out of just being bored here. But now, like, everything that he took on, it was empty. It was lost. It was nothing here. He didn't, he didn't want that shit. You feel me? But I feel like now he sees something with a full cup here. He sees somebody that's something like that queen that he lost. Something like that. Something genuine. Something he feel like he feel connected to it. Connected in his spirit here. It ain't nothing that you're doing. It's his soul that's calling out to you. It's more than words. Okay? It's more than words. It's something to do with the soul here. Tell me more. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles being here. This man is a family guy. He's a family guy. He was raised in a stable household. He probably had his mother and his father. Or if he only had a mother, take care of it resonates. She was stable though. Like it was calm. And this is what he seek after of in life. He wanted he want a mother, the father in the household. He want the cheers and the white picket fence. He want to have money. He want to be able to supply everybody needs. He don't want nobody to go without nothing here. So this is a hard working man here. This man most definitely have some type of wealth. So when this person, when this person passed away, he only focused on money. I'm telling you the night of um wands is here this person turned into some type of player he's some type of entertainer here so he just started focusing on his creativity he focused on his brand he focused on his money if he you see this is drum so something something to do with music he focused on that and he really didn't give a fuck about women he did it he did not give a fuck about women. I promise you, like he, it was over with. It was over with when this when this woman figure passed away. You feel me? He just didn't. He, I'm hearing he didn't know how to love. Like she, it, it probably even like some some days his children. If he got children, don't satisfy him. You feel me? Just because he need he need what he lost, and he tried to go he tried to go get it in other women. Tried to see if he could find it, but he never could find it. He never could find what he lost here. That's exactly what I'm hearing. And I feel like, um, like I said, he turned into some type of player. You feel me? I don't know why I'm hearing using drugs. Using drugs, drinking, smoking. Like, yeah, he been very defensive in life. He ain't been letting nobody get close to his heart. You feel me? He, I don't give a fuck what he do for little bitches. He gonna do it because he got it. Because he got it. But sometimes I'm feeling like he really don't do nothing because he's so overbearing and so protective over his money. So he might not do shit for these bitches. He might give them the, literally the bare minimum. Literally the bare minimum. Yeah, he's very defensive. Tell me about this death. What's going on with this death? Look, sun card. Ten of swords. 
Wow, this was something like he was really happy in, something that made him happy, something that he treasured. That's why I'm hearing something that he kept close to his heart. She could be a Leo. Um, I don't know why I said she, he, well, whoever passed away could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio. I don't know. But Ten of Swords is here. This was pain, bro. Couldn't not get no worse than, than what he been through, shawty. And he ain't had no choice but to suppress it, but to suppress it, but to just hold it in. It got something to do with somebody's chest, somebody's heart stopped. I don't know. Somebody was on a ventilator. I don't know what the hell happened. But could not get no worse than what, than what he been through because this was his happiness. This literally was the only thing, whoever this woman was, whoever this queen of cups was, was the only thing that literally made this man fucking happy, bro. I'm getting chill saying this shit. That was literally the only thing that let, that really made this person happy was just the, I'm hearing mama, like, was to just have his fucking mama. You feel me? Have somebody to love him, have somebody to care. And ever since then, that man been defensive, bro. He not had his guard up, bro. He have not been letting shit in. And that's the motherfucking truth. That's the ones. He ain't been letting shit in. It's something new. It's something new that's coming into his life, though, that's, that's letting that guard down. Tell me more. Look, it say, um, high priest here. He's secretly watching something. I feel like this man is like very spiritual as well. He get downloads from God. He knows stuff already. He know things in advance here. So this person just literally been living life off their intuition. They don't have nothing else. They can't ask nobody. They don't trust nobody. That's what I'm hearing. This person is literally living their life off their intuition here. And I feel like it's been a lot of people, a lot of sneaky ass energy been coming around this man. And this man been seeing the shit. You feel me? So he'll just... And he been quiet, too. I feel like he been more so quiet. He probably don't even talk like that. He probably don't even talk like that. Yeah. Five of Pentacles in despair. Left out in the cold, bro. Hurt. Heart been broke so many times. The man been hurt. This man been in some type of deep depression here. Like, nothing nothing has been satisfying this person. Trauma. Trauma. There you go. Emotionally traumatized because of this person dying. This person was literally emotionally traumatized. Y'all, he was hurt. This this girl could have been a water sign for some. Pisces coming out heavy. Leo coming out. Scorpio coming out. It's a mother figure, though, that really passed away. Y'all, they left this man fucking traumatized here. And not only was he traumatized, but he had he suppressed it. He suppressed it. He never dealt with the shit. You feel me? So, it's. I feel like it's coming out right now. Cause you know how it could be boiling. I'm hearing two years ago, a year ago. It's boiling now. You feel me? This this shit hurt. This shit hurt. He could be talking to her in the spirit world. This her, this she's a part of his intuition. She leads him. Mm. What's this six of wands in reverse? Temperance being here. That's Sagittarius energy. So I feel like um some something is coming in. I feel like when this situation came through with the six of wands coming in reverse, this person had a lot of resentments. He had a lot of a lot of regrets here. I feel like he never was able to see eye to eye with nobody because because of the regrets and, and the things that he felt emotionally here. He felt like a failure. He felt like he didn't he didn't do what he's supposed to do with his mother. I don't know. He felt like he's supposed to have did more with the temperance card coming out. I feel like it could be somebody. This this has something to do with his purpose, though. This got something to do with his calling, though. I'm feeling like it's some energy where an angel could be with this person. Like, this person is now his guardian angel supporting him. He's having a balance in life. And I also, I feel like there's, some, there's somebody that he look at as an angel here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like this person want to go towards something new, something stable, and whenever he come in, he's gonna he's gonna give something up. Okay, I feel like he he's not gonna want whoever this woman is to leave because he see he sees somebody else that could heal him, somebody that could support him, somebody that could that could actually fill that void that's in his heart, bro. Because he really felt like he it was a fail with that Ace of Um Pentacles being here. He don't want to five of swords here. I'm telling you, it's so much regret, bro. It's so much regret. It's so much like, damn, I wish I would have did everything. This Ace of Pentacles. I wish I would have gave more. I wish I would have. I wish I would have bought her a house. You feel me? I wish I would have gave her something that that meant something. Honestly, that's how I feel. He wish he would have did something that that really mattered. Cause that Ace of Pentacles really mattered. So yeah, it was a lot of regret. Cause that person wish he could have did more for this angel. Yeah, chariot in reverse here. 
reckless energy. He just feels so down. He feels so sad. He feels so left out. He feels like a fucking failure, bro. He feel like that he'll never find nothing good. Death in reverse. He's literally stuck in that dark night of the soul. That's too death co coming out too. So somebody most definitely did pass away, bro. I feel like when all this stuff happened, he had he had a lack of self-discipline. Like he was just doing reckless ass shit, not giving a fuck about the consequences. He was actually moving in the wrong direction, you know. He was just not giving a fuck. That's cause he felt discouraged. He felt hurt. He felt like one nothing. Then shit matter, bro. It felt like this shit matter. Like, like, it is what it is. I don't get no fucks. He he didn't even care if he died after this. Like that's how reckless it was. He could have he could have tried to kill himself. Car accident. I don't know, Shotty. He could have tried to kill himself. He could have tried to do something, Shotty. He didn't even give a fuck if he died. So, bitch, whatever I gotta do, I'm gonna do it. Like he was going. He was focusing on that money. He was focusing on that bread, bro. He was most definitely putting his head towards the dollar. And he could have had children. He could have had a family. But look, four pinnacles coming in. I said it. He could have had a kid. He could have had children. He could have had a family. He could have had all that stuff. But he was still holding back. He was still holding that pain, that sorrow, that hurtful ass shit back, bro. He he didn't let nobody in close to him at all. And yeah, he went out and made money. But he didn't get that shit up. He didn't get that shit up. He like, bro, if I, if I ain't get a chance to take care of my mama, I ain't take care of no hoe. That's how he felt. He was not willing. He was not willing to see nothing. Like, not willing to change, bro, at all. Like, it is what it is. I'm hit. He was so fucking headstrong, y'all. He was so fucking headstrong. Or this could be him now. I don't know, y'all. Tell me more. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. He been like this for a long time. He been a, he been like this for a good little minute here, and I feel like he's now starting to reflect over everything, like all the good people he probably lost. I don't know all the stuff that could they had potential, but was a failure. They didn't get to make it because of the way that he treated it, because of the way that he act. You feel me? Because of this loss, so he's now facing his loss after so long. You feel me? You know how so many people try to hold that shit in, and it could because of a will of fortune, something that he see as lucky, something that he see as like a lucky break in life, something. Somebody that he feel like can really like change him and put him on his right path with the eight of wands. Somebody he actually want to communicate with this person. I feel like this was some type of spinoff. Like this was something unexpected in this person's life that made him really look at himself. Look at the man in the mirror like, damn, I can't be like this for the rest of my life. You feel me? I need somebody that's patient with me. I need somebody that's dead though. I need somebody that's patient. I need somebody that's kind. I need somebody that's temperance. I need somebody that's healed, okay? Because I need a break. I can't keep going through this hard-ass shit in life. That's what I'm feeling like, man. This man, like, I'm I'm tired. He been through a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. So he's just ready to just go ahead and make a change. He ready to just go ahead and get on his right path here. Yeah, the world card. He had to end something. He's ready to end this chapter in his life of pain, of sorrow, of just being broken, of just being lost, of just being out here on his own. Like, he want to let a woman close. This person could be, he could be letting a um, uh, um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But like I said, we got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Sun card and the um, High Priest, Pisces, um, Leo here. Then we have two Death cards, heavy on the Scorpio. If you're not a Scorpio, if you're a Sagittarius, you might got Scorpio in your chart here. I feel like you're triggering change into this person's life. You're literally triggering change in this man's life. Like every time he look at you, he, he see the joy in you. He see the angel in your eye, temperate Sagittarius. He see that angel here. Six of Wands is still Sagittarius energy. He see an angel here. Uh, what it is, Cancer. Um, what what it is, Scorpio again. Sorry, y'all. And then what a fortune again, Sagittarius energy here. So I see he see something better. He see something stable. He see something that he really he it really get him hope. It really get him hope. And I told y'all this a cold ass guy. This a cold ass guy. But guess what, y'all got similar backgrounds. Y'all yeah, probably done been through the same things in life here. You hear me? I feel like something, something, this person want to get up and um, communicate. I'm telling you with the star card, he see hope. He see, he see peace. He see something different in your eyes. That's what I'm hearing. He see something different in your eyes, bro. It's not, it's not how these other women, it's not how these other women is. Cause these other women he been dealing with been cold as hell. They ain't had no love towards them. But I'm hearing God say, I had to make it like that because it was already designed for y'all two to come together. It was designed a long time ago. It was designed before this woman even passed away. 
that you was going to be picked for him. The God God don't make no mistakes. He already knew what was going to happen. You feel me? So that's why he been getting cold ass, karmic ass energy. People who don't love him because you're his wife. You was, you was already picking. You was already chose. I knew you before I formed you in the mother's wombs. I set you apart to be a prophet on the nation. God said he knew y'all before he formed y'all. Baby, y'all just had to go through y'all own separate, y'all own test by ourselves. And then y'all gonna come together and help each other. Mm. Some of y'all might have seen, I kid y'all not. Listen, I baptized myself, Shadi. I seen the angel and I asked all my family who she was. I'm here. It's, it's her. It's her. It's who we talking about. Every time I go in the spirit world, I see her. Whatever, what, whoever this person is, you probably not had some out of body experience with her because she been testing you. God been, a, I'm gonna get chills. Only, only you know, only you know. You feel me? This ain't for everybody, man. Cause I, I promise you, I done came face to face with whoever this person is, and I know it's her. Cause I, I seen her like, I ain't gonna tell too much, bro. I ain't gonna tell too much. I'ma just wait till it unfold and look at the, and look at the picture. Cause I promise you, even when I see my angels, I, I don't see nobody else's face, but I see hers. That's how I know it's the lady. And then my ear just, oh, I'm telling you, Shawty, I'm telling you. Um, it's a love attraction here. This was somebody that he really loved. This is somebody who raised him, somebody who cared on him. You see how many kisses on him? Grandma be kissing all over her, baby. I love my baby. I love my baby. I'm telling you. Right, that's probably how his mama treated him. So spoiled, so loving, so caring here. And I feel like he feel that same energy coming off you. Like it don't it don't matter. It's what he sees, it's what he know, bruh. Yeah, it say watch your back still holding on. It's your power that they want. So there's somebody um around you or around him that's trying to take this man power, trying to hold on to this man. Okay, she got some type of evil eye towards him. She's trying to hurt him here. And it's it, she might even got a son with this person. And it's just pointless. You feel me? It's just pointless. It's time to just move on and let it go. So I feel like his mother is stronger than ever in his life. Like his mother is is here fighting hard for him. Like she said, she, I'm hearing her say, I love you, son. Damn, I ain't never want, I ain't, like, don't ever think she wanted to leave you, bro. She did not never want to leave you. I promise you, she never would have chosen to take to, to take her life, bro, if she had an option. You feel me? So that's why she say she's stronger than ever in the spirit world. She young again. That's what I mean. She young again. She healthy. She got all her strength. And she can fight even harder for you. You just got to let her fight for you. Let her take control over your life. Because she going to do it, bro. She going to do it, okay? She's going to do it. It's a hunted, though. This man was so hunted by his past. Sleeping on the sofa. Like, whoever he was with. I, she got this evil eye towards him. And this man just... He hurt by his mama, bro. And she ain't doing it but making it more worse. He he literally miserable. He literally out hiding, hiding his pain, y'all. It's a he's not good for you right now. This man been going through shit. He going through shit with this hoe, bro. With this crazy ass bitch, man. She just won't leave. And he just hurt by this mama. Like you're triggering something in this man right now. You're triggering literally. I'm telling you, he's breaking up with this hoe. You're literally triggering something in this man. And he can't take it no more. So, look, I said this man can't take it no more. Shots fire. You hear, you hear messages straight to this man. Heart shocker, shawty. He can't take that shit no more. He can't take these crazy ass hoes no more. He can't take hiding behind his pain no more. I'm hearing this man is literally finna break. When he come to you, when he come to you, I'm telling you, attempt to get him. When he come to you, Shawty, he's going to break. He's going to break. He's going to finally cry. That's what I'm hearing. He's going to finally cry. Everything that he been holding back, Shawty, he's he been crying. He's just been crying in private. So he's going to cry to you. It's a stiff energy. You probably was stiff on this person. Take it however it resonates. He's very depressed. He's very depressed. And he choose you because you're stiff and you don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Whoever he with, he not even into her, bro, because he can't talk to her about what he going through. He can't tell her about her pain, his pain. He gotta play, he gotta play like a man. Man have feelings. Man get vulnerable, Shawty. He wanna let that innocent kid out. He wanna be young again, Shawty. He wanna be what he used to be. When his mama was alive, shawty. Yeah, him and his mama had an undying love towards each other, shawty. And that's what he feel. That's what he see in you. It's nothing that you have to tell this man. You don't have to tell this man nothing about you, bro. Nothing about you because he see it in your eyes. Look at that coffee card come out. 
I'm telling y'all, the coffin, the death card came out in two decks. And the coffin is here. Somebody literally passed away, man. Somebody lost somebody that they was close to. Shawty. 19 coming out heavy. I don't know what 19 mean, but that, that man. Come on, Shawty. He going through it. And, uh, and these hoes trying to yell at him, man. He not for that. He not for the bullshit. I'm telling you, privileged woman came out with a thief hoe. Somebody could have tried to steal steal his money. I don't know if somebody could have recently passed away, left him money. I don't know. It's some type of pr privileged woman that came off like she was privileged, but she really was a thief. She always milking men. She always taking men for what they got. Here she like she go after rich men just to do this shit to them here. Like she she'll even try to kill this man. This is the type of bitch that'll try to kill this man and take all his money type shit. Put me in your wheel type shit. Marry me. Put me in your wheel. All that shit. She just played him. And his mama woke his ass up in the spirit world and said, get that bitch away from you. I'm telling you, he, he probably had an out-of-body experience. He probably had an out-of-body experience. His mama warned his ass in the hallway. Damn. His mama could have came to him in the hallway type shit. He thought he was on drugs. He thought he was tripping. And his mama told him to leave that hoe alone. I'm getting chills saying that shit, bro. His mama came to him. I'm talking about death can't even hold this woman back. Death ain't stopped Jesus. Death ain't holding this woman back, man. Girl, he, she told her that bitch ain't privileged. That bitch is a thief. She gonna steal from you. She gonna try to kill you and take your money. Poverty. That hoe is broke. She's in poverty, bro. She's in poverty. She don't have nothing. She do this shit for a living. She, she go after vulnerable men. Didn't I just tell you this hoe was going to try to marry him? She tried to really get this man to marry her. Put put me in your will. Put me in your will. I'm telling you, she was going to try to kill this man. She go after she go after childlike energies, innocent energies, energies that's vulnerable, energies that's easily gullible, gullible-ass energies. I kid you not. They might even got some type of child with each other, man. She knew, she knew the longer she played her card, eventually she was going to get something out bottom. him. That's what she was trying to do, bro. Concerned. Now this man is very concerned. This man is worried. He is worried about that shit. I'm telling you, that man had an out-of-body experience. He's wealthy. I told y'all this was a wealthy man. This man got money, bro. This hoe does this shit. She go after wealthy men and she go after older men and she stay as long as she can to make these niggas fucking fall in love with her. After that, she's going to try to take these niggas for fucking everything. She going to try to marry these niggas, bro, and try to take their money. She been doing this. She been on that shit. She been doing this shit, shawty. And it's been working. He been, she been getting she been getting money out of him, some type of message. She sent money toward the label, black magic, all type of shit. But now she trying to go for the ultimate. She trying to go for the next. She trying to go ahead and kill him. She trying to go ahead and offer now, bro. It's done. It's done. She don't want him no more. She ready to move on to somebody else, shawty. I don't care. She had these kids for a check. She had these kids for the money, for the, for the benefits of the wealthy man. She never wanted these kids, bro. She wanted to kill him. She damn near would have killed the kids too, shawty. He gonna have to take his kids from this hoe. I kid y'all not, bro. Fake. I told y'all this a fake motherfucker. This a fake occupation in reverse, shawty. This is this is what she's doing. She's no longer doing that shit no more. She done got trapped. She done got pregnant by a wealthy man, bro. I'm hearing she. He knew she was like this though. He knew she was like this. He was a part of it in the beginning. And then she got pregnant, and he thought, well, she'll change because she got pregnant. She had my children, and she did not change, shawty. She said, okay, when I kill him, I'm going to kill these kids, too. And she and she really thought she was going to get away with it. Or she was going to do, if she wasn't going to kill her own kids, bro, she was going to do something. She was going to get her kids away. She wasn't going to raise these kids, bro. She ain't have time for that shit. She only did that shit for this man. That's it. Mm. Sudden wealth. I'm telling you, she only did that shit for sudden wealth for money, bro. For money, bro. That shit shiesty. But unexpected income. This is what this bitch is do. She work. Swear to labor. This is her job. This is how she get paid. She do this shit. This girl is some type of older lady. She come in. She play like the main female. Get into their household and take them. Bad health. She try to. She poison their food. She do something to try to kill them, bro. She do something to try to fuck with him. Then she go to the courtroom and say, oh, I'm married to him. I'm a part of his community. This hoe gonna end up in jail. 
She gonna end up in jail. She finna end up in jail playing like that. Playing like that. I'm telling you, this hoe's gonna get cold. That shit shiesty. That shit is shiesty, bro. That shit is shiesty. Mm -mm. Girl. Let's see what my little dick wanna say. It say, um, unknown addictions here. This man probably got some type of addiction. I'm hearing she's switching his pills out. She's switching his pills out. If he take perks, Adderall, whatever the fuck he take, he's not, she's not giving him that shit, bro. Every time he leave his pills out or leave something out, I mean, fit now. She giving him some stronger shit. She giving him some stronger shit. She she's giving him something that's gonna kill him instantly, bro. She well, that's gonna kill him over time. It's stronger than all them other drugs, man. It's stronger than all them other drugs. I kid you not, bro. But this ain't pregnancy soon. Some of y'all might end up getting pregnant by this person. That's probably how he end up letting it go. Take how every resonate. Y'all might end up getting pregnant. Yeah, walk out on faith and not by sight, cause this man is suffering with drug addiction. See, he is. He is, he's gonna need help, but you're gonna be the you're gonna be the light to his eyes. Your daughter, where is it? What she just called? Your daughter gonna look just like his mama. I kid you not. I kid you the fuck not. I got chills saying it. Where that mature woman go? I don't care. I'm gonna use the death card. Your daughter is gonna look just like his mother. And that's what's gonna change him. That's what's gonna give him that wake up call. That's what's gonna shine that light, bruh. That's why God telling you to walk out on faith and not by sight. Cause this man is going through drug addictions. He is, bro. He is going. He's he's in pain right now. This man is hurt, man. I told y'all this man is hurt. Embracing the pain, knowing there's something better, man. It's a smart. Y'all gonna have some type of deep call. Deep, deep. I'm I'm here calling. Y'all got a deep calling. Okay, y'all got a bigger purpose. This is gonna be a part of y'all testimony. But y'all gonna have a deep conversation about this shit one day. Secret lover watching you. This man is watching you. And if you're watching me, I'm hearing your mother say she loves you, bro. She loves you and she always there with you. Whenever you hit her, whenever you see her, it's not you. It's not you tripping. It's not you tripping. It's really her. She's really, she's really coming through, bro. And she's coming through stronger than ever right now because somebody's literally trying to take your life before your time. Girl, seven seven, luck is on your side. God is about to work a miracle. Um, thank him now. It's a um number seven here. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is what got you here. Your intuition is not going to leave you. If your intuition is telling you to choose something, choose it. February is coming out strong for some. Some of this stuff could be going down right now as we speak. You are God's chosen one here. You are highly protected, so you don't have to worry about no enemy coming against you. Fire sign. You could be a fire sign. He could be a fire sign. Whatever it is, you 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 just get a lot of attention. I'm saying it. Good good toxic. Y'all gonna have y'all good toxic ways. Y'all not gonna be like the rest, bro. Y'all not gonna be like the rest. Y'all not gonna be. You're not gonna be nothing like these other bitches he had, y'all. Karmic family. Karmic coming out. I mean, March coming out. So something very significant could happen in March. Karmic family member is here. So his family, somebody close to him, somebody he got blood ties with, is plotting on him too. Man, yeah, this is a new lover in your life. This is somebody new. You ain't never. You probably ain't never met this nigga before. That shit shiesty, man. That shit shiesty. You know it's shiesty. Something, it's a sugar baby here. So some of y'all are literally going to be sugar babies. He's going to spoil the hell out of you. May came out. Okay, so by May, y'all going to be in this connection. No need to worry because whoever this is for is going to be, it's going to be for it. Like you ain't got to worry about that. Somebody's dream is literally finna come true right now, bro. As we speak, this shit is like God is literally moving motherfuckers out of his way. God is telling him to compromise, shawty. It's not going to be what you're, what you're normally used to. You're going to have to go outside of your box. You're going to have to look different because you're not going to find what you're looking for in these women that you keep searching for. I'm hearing he want his child to be light-skinned because his mama probably was light-skinned. It don't matter. It's the gene. That's why I'm literally hearing God say this. I'm The gene is in you already. So if this girl is brown skin, this girl is, is chocolate caramel, it don't matter what kind of skin tone this girl is. She can have a light-skinned baby because it's in your genes. It's in your genes. I'm hearing it's in her genes as well. And my dog just barked. It's in y'all gene to do it. God already got it planned out to do it here. But I'm here right now. Everything is on God's timing. It's on God's planning right now. So everything is the way it's supposed to be right now. Honestly, it's, it's the way it's supposed to be. So thank y'all for watching. My dog just barked again. Thank y'all for watching my videos. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. You really out. Peace.